Hello, welcome to White Davy Gardening and Worm Farm. If you like my channel, please press the subscribe button. So I just went through this raised bed and harvested my kales and my green onions. And so now I'm just pulling up the plants. Next year, I don't think I'll have the opportunity to plant anything in here because I did not harvest my Pak Choy seeds and so I can see that They started to open and there are lots and lots of seeds All over so next year I know that there is going to be endless amount of pak choy seedlings in here so I won't be planting any pak choy next year I'll just be thinning out this bed since as this bed is reserved for my pak choy so I'm just going to clean up the bed and have it ready for next year oh I thought I harvested all of my green onions, but it appears as if I haven't harvested the ones in this little container here. I forgot that I have some in that container. <laughs> there wasn't any space to plant them out in the garden. So they ended up staying in the container. So these things, seeds and all, they are going to be going into my compost pile the seeds are going to be going through the heat process because I'm going to be hot composting them so that should kill off any extra seeds oh look this garlic was planted last year and it's growing again so obviously I did not harvest it so it is sprouting again and I'm just gonna let it stay there and do whatever it feels like let's see what happens with that next year so I just have this and the bed that I forgot to harvest my carrot out of to clean up and after that all my beds are ready for next year oh see I have one more garlic growing here <laughs> wherever garlic decides to grow I'm not going to bother it I'm just gonna let it stay there and do its thing my plan was to get rid of all the green onions that I have growing in here or most of them at least but I'm just gonna let the green onions stay oh there's another garlic yet again Oh my goodness, there's one and there's another one. So that's poor garlic just growing on their own. But come to think of it, I don't think I've harvested any garlic from this bed this year. I don't recall doing so anyway. so that's gonna go in my compost bin but I would like to show you my final harvest so these are my kale they're just rammed down in there and then these are my red cabbages they did not fold don't mind the dirt from pulling up the plants these did not fold but these are my red cabbages I have some more kale underneath there and then this is my harvest of my last harvest of green onions so I'm gonna cut these up and freeze them I'm gonna cut up everything here 
the green onions the cabbage and the kale and freeze them the kale I'm going to put in different packages with other fruits and veggies to make smoothies and then the carrots that I forgot to harvest out of my tomato raised bed these are they so I'm just going to break the sprigs or the leaves off them clean them up and store them for as long as they are able to last so this is my little harvest my final harvest um, I still haven't harvested some of my romaine lettuce seeds I have one plant that I brought into the garage just in case the freezing occur before the seeds were ready so I'm going to be getting seeds from those because even up to this point these ones that are outdoors haven't started drying yet they're not ready for harvesting so I'm probably just gonna let these plants stay here or pull them up I'm not sure doesn't really matter to me I can always pull them out next year because the weather we've been having hot and cold weather unusually warm so I'm thinking maybe let them stay there in case the seeds dry they can just fall back into the garden and then they may regrow next year and then I won't have to sow any of these not Chinese but romaine lettuce yes so I think I'll just let them stay there in case it continue to have nice warm weather and the seeds are ready they'll just fall there and do their thing these are my scallions that I harvested and they are trying to grow again <laughs> well we'll see what happens with them next year I'm not going to take them out and I'm I'm just gonna let them stay and see if they will regrow next year that would be awesome my strawberries are looking quite nice still yes we'll see what happens with these strawberries if they're gonna come back I still have even my one of my Chinese cabbage this one is still being eaten by pests I'm just gonna pull it out oh look at that I have a little onion <laughs> trying to grow yeah so this Chinese cabbage is still trying to hang on I don't know what it is hanging on for I can see this one was trying to send young suckers interesting it actually oh look at that I didn't even notice this was two of them in one so this must be a sucker that it sent anyway I just wanted to share with you my final harvest and I can see even in the ground here this main garden that garlic is trying to go there as well so if you enjoy this video and you would like to see more videos like these please take a moment to give me a thumbs up you can leave a comment in the section below if you're new to my channel please subscribe and turn on your notification for more updates like these thank you so much for watching and have yourself a wonderful day yeman yeah, a time for grow